Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some Warhammer Combat Cards campaign mode. And the campaign for this week is the battle for Antela, where we are playing as orcs against the Eldar. And in this campaign, you get extra bonus mission points for uh, including knobs in your deck. And the card you can unlock through the missions is Makari, the Greatest Grot. Uh, pretty cool little guy there. Also, in the shop, they have this new war boss on the Death Killer War Trike. Uh, this was actually voted on by the community to be put into the game about four months ago. So, finally made it into the game. Unfortunately, you have to pay a whole lot of real money to get it, so I will not be getting it. Um, I did look at some of the other players who have it and. It gains a lot of ranged and melee attack, um, but at 50 points, it has to compete with a lot of the other orc vehicles, so it's not really that great of an option at this point, I don't think, until you get it to a much higher level. So this is the deck that I started the campaign with. It has all five of my knobs in there, but it is not that great of a deck so I'm gonna swap it out in favor for good old Captain Badruck with um, a bunch of ranged vehicles a lot of ranged firepower here so we'll see how this fares against the Eldar there are only two Eldar warlords in the game as of now Zephyr Blade and the Avatar of Cain and we are up against the Avatar. Of course, the Avatar is very um, expensive points-wise, 84 points, so you normally cannot field very many bodyguards with it. But this is the campaign, and the AI likes to cheat when it comes to deck points, so... Yeah. They will be able to field some very big units, such as the Pain Engine here, it's at level 4. But, I mean, I think, well, yeah, this Avatar is only at level 2, so it has 185 life. That's not too bad. At level 3, it gains a lot more uh, health, so it's not very fun to fight against. But, yeah, they do have some really strong cards here, like the Wraith Lord. At level 5, that thing is going to gain a massive amount of uh, melee. When you're playing against the Zephyr Blade, of course, it becomes a huge ranged weapon. Neither of them are very fun to face. But since it did deploy at the beginning, it's not going to have a whole lot of um, firepower, which is good. I deployed my three strongest vehicles here at the beginning and they will be able to do quite a bit of damage here with their bonus attack from Captain Badruck. Now they did just um, add a weird new animation here. You see that little beam of light shooting out from the special rule icon by the Warlord. That's something they just added to the game a couple days ago and I am honestly not a big fan of it, it looks kind of weird and it might just be my imagination but it also seems like it is making the battles take slightly longer I don't know if the timing changed at all but it just feels like that um, yeah I think there, there's probably a better way to, to show you know what's going on of course for veteran players it's not really necessary but for, you know, beginners and people unfamiliar with the game, it does uh, show you exactly what that special rule is doing at whenever it activates. And sometimes, it, I mean, with in this case, like with Captain Bad Ruck, sometimes when the, the rule activates multiple times in a row, it can get a little confusing as to what it's hitting and all that, but... Yeah, I'm hoping that they do change it, maybe, in the near future. We'll see, though. 
Now they do have a massive amount of melee here. Uh, pretty scary, actually. Especially because it does not look like I will be able to actually kill any of these guys. So, I might actually lose this one. All of them have a huge amount of um, melee here. Enough to kill my last big vehicle. So, this is not looking so good. Yeah, they all have like over 80 melee. If I go Psychic, would it be able to save me? I doubt it. I mean, I can debuff the melee, but I don't think it's going to do a whole lot. Whatever, I guess I'm just going to be taking the loss then. I'm going ranged here, but of course their next attack is just going to wipe out my front line entirely. It's a lot of damage. That is pretty massive. If only this could happen when you're playing as the Avatar. It's usually not the case. Now poor little old Captain Badruck all by himself. At least his death will be a swift one. Yeah, and there's no way I can even win with range, so I'm, I'm just going to go melee. I'm sorry, but yeah, this game's over. So that was a pretty <laughs> terrible loss there against the Avatar of Kane. It was only at level 2, um, but yeah. Captain Badrook, there are still a lot of people saying that Captain Badrook is too strong, and maybe for lower level players he is, but later on in the game, I don't think he is even one of the top warlords anymore after the latest uh, nerf to his special rules. So. And also... They did nerf some of those big orc vehicles. So he's really not nearly as good as he used to be. Anyway, that was uh, this week's campaign for you. Uh, let me know what you think. I do like playing as orcs. And in ranked mode, they are one of my... Well, they're currently my highest ranking faction. Uh, but... Yeah, this campaign is a fairly difficult one, actually. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to get some good rewards from it by the end. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.